Nat, where are you? Hi, You're homeless, Nat. I am at the moment, yeah. Um, where are you from originally, Nat? Originally, Devon. Devon. What brought you to Liverpool? Uh, my ex, actually. Yeah, ex. Yeah. So, have you become homeless? Um, we left and we separated. It was my choice to leave. You know, he's not a bad man or anything. And I chose to just not be with him anymore. And I didn't get the help I was uh, told I would get. Like, yeah. I ended up on heroin for two years. Did you? Yeah. I'm How come you? Honest. What made you go on, her on heroin? I, even though I chose to leave him, it was still like I was breathing. Does that make sense? And it's like I, I was broken hearted all the time. And I just didn't know what I was doing, and I started hanging around with these people, and there's no excuse for that. What one thing leads on to another, doesn't it? I'm actually producing on the methadone program at the moment. Oh really? And I know um, a certain somebody that you know yourself has actually got himself down to five now. Yeah, really, that's good, isn't it? Good that's really good. Yeah. yeah. But people will know who who that is. Yeah, but, um, they know. Do you know, and he, he apparently got a lot of help after this, so he hopefully did, you, will, you will get a lot of help. Somebody got his uh, tent burnt down, and yeah. they actually, well, all these tents are here because of your video. Yeah, so, brilliant. So we went from one tent that got burnt down to all these tents because of this lovely man. Thank you. So, because people reached out and... That's the one. And they're still trying to get the tents now. We've actually got some here. I've chucked them in there, actually. The rolled up round ones from over there, and we've had to tell them now that we're OK. Ah, oh, brilliant. <laughs> you know? That's fantastic, though, isn't it? Yeah. Nasty, what was growing up like for you? Do you know what? I had a good upbringing. Did you? Yeah, I really did. You got any children, Nat? I don't. No. How long have you been homeless now, Nat? Homeless? On and off, two years. Yeah. What's the hardest thing? Hardest thing? Well, no, the three for me. Coffee and cigarette in the morning. Really? Yeah. Hopefully I've helped you out with that now. <laughs> really That's, brilliant. That's brilliant. That's um, brilliant. What's the worst thing that's happened to you now? Because you're a woman on the street. That must be very um, tough. Nearly attacked and I've been wet, uh, weed on and when I went like that with my sleeping bag, the bloke was mortified. It was a girl. I said it shouldn't matter. No. And that was the, yeah. that was my worst thing. So how many of you are here then, Nat? At the moment there's two of us here. Two. Me and a lad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just friends. Yeah. He's been a, you know, we've helped each other. Yeah. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? He's all there. Uh, but you're on the outskirts of Liverpool. Do you get much help at all? Because it's better than being up... in the town centre. As you know, not every homeless is genuine, but that doesn't mean that they don't need help and that they're there for the reason. Yeah. Whether that be their hostel, their home life, their whatever that be, yeah. there is a lot more to it than just me see I. Yeah. Of course. As the... you know. <laughs> yeah, it's complex, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's a complex issue, but um. It is. But at least people like you are actually out there trying to do something about it. Thank you. Thanks, Nat. Um, but so, what are the council doing anything about it? About it? No, no help. What about Whitechapel? Whitechapel are good, but they have their hands tied. Yeah. They literally are constantly fighting with the council to get a bit yeah. of help and funding more than anything, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You know. I think they, they struggle with the funding. They do. Um, they do. But I thought I thought they would prioritise for women like yourself. You know? yeah. I'm, I'm quite, even though I've been up here 15 years, with my nan and granddad are scouts. Yeah. I have no ties to here. Because <laughs> I worked. Yeah. The whole time. It's mm -hmm. a, an occurring theme that of um, if you have no ties, you've got no help, basically. Yeah. And I've been up here since I was 17, 32 now. You're 32. You're yeah. still young. Do you think you'll get off the streets? Oh, yeah. yeah. Definitely. I'm just uh, putting feelers out down south at the moment. Yeah. So. Try and get off the drugs. <laughs> Next door's done. <laughs> I won't get on. Uh, thing you but listen you've got a uh, you've got a set up here uh, listen i'm going to come back and i'll try and help you i said that to shane again, you have, you have. Uh, and uh, yeah. i'll be back again so thank you. listen thanks very much for your time today you, Nat. You, um, <laughs> is, um how do the public general public usually treat you to be honest In this yeah Adi, that's good that's really good yeah do you feel like you get judged though living like this, Nat? Yeah. 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 But then you... I was the same person that walked past thinking, and I hate myself for saying that, I just had to say that. Yeah. But th this is what it's all about awareness, isn't it? And highlighting that you, you know, you're just a human being, you're a lovely lady. Thank you. um, so, yeah, I I'm thanks for your time today, Nat. Thank you. Thanks very much. Take care. And you, thanks very much.